movies like this only come once in a generation. So, enjoy. That can't be right. Hi, Chris. How are you? Hi, Greta. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm very excited to have a chance to talk with you about uh, this movie because I think it, it, it's great. And I truly loved your character because I think that Owen Grady has it all, you know. He has a sense of humor, he's handsome, he's very professional, uh, he's reasonable, but above all, uh, when loves animal and living things because he has this sense of justice for everyone, everywhere, you know, it doesn't matter. So I think he's a character that respects his essence and I think that you maintain that through the trilogy. So which was the most important change or transformation for your character considering you know that this is the end? First of all, thank you so much, Greta. That's so nice for you to say those kind things about Owen, about the character. I think you're right in a lot, in many uh, of those ways. Like Colin Trevorrow created this character and has uh, helped me to bring him to life. And he, he is all of those things. I think the most important change in the evolution of the character over the course of the several, several uh, movies we've done now is really just uh, his life circumstances and his responsibilities. I don't think there's been a massive uh, character change per se, perhaps some maturity has has come. Uh, he's always been a man who's who's you know cared deeply about protecting those that he loves and um, you know has humor and has strength and all of those qualities. But he's now put in a life circumstance to where he has obligations that are big, grander than himself. His what his you know his partner and Claire, his life partner and the child that they're they're bringing up as their own. Um, those are obligations that, that he has to stick to and he would do anything for. And so we see that, that's sort of the natural progression, I think, for a man in life. Uh, you know, I see that in my own life where you, you grow up a little bit and you stop living just for yourself, but for the people that you love and, and you have to change certain behaviors about yourself to protect them. I promise you, I am gonna get her back. <laughs> And Jurassic World Dominion is a great closure for the main question, you know, that has been around since the first Jurassic Park movie, which is how far we shall go with manipulating nature just because we can, you know? And that is related in a certain way to the dangers that we uh, are facing today, you know? Like when we manipulate ecosystems or climate change or, you know, the extinction of species. So this movie is not the answer to that big question but it's a metaphor, you know, for our reality. So what do you think about Jurassic World being a mirror, especially this movie? Yes, I, I do think that um, beyond just the exciting adventure and the drama and the action and the merging of science and imagination and incredible special effects and dashing uh, movie stars um, and legacy cast members converging with uh, Jurassic World cast members, all of those things are what make it an exciting and um, unforgettable movie going experience. But you're right that there are some pretty serious themes in there about the science, ethics, and um, you know, the care and concern for all species on the planet and you know, how far is too far in terms of corporate greed and, and meddling in nature just because we can or just because it profit it profits a company so you're right it doesn't answer those questions but it does pose those questions in a grand scale and i think the answers to those questions can really only be found when young audience members are faced with those questions and so uh yeah i, I don't know the answer to those questions but i hope that somebody out there might one day and and uh you know it certainly makes makes for an anxious world and I feel like we're in this era of infinite propulsion and things are becoming more and more anxious but that's kind of the beauty of of a movie like this is it gives you a couple of hours to just escape and be entertained you know sit in a room full of strangers and no one is going to have their phone on and you're all sharing the same thing that's really rare increasingly rare these days usually when something extraordinary is happening in front of you everybody is trying to film it and so this is an opportunity for you to not film it. It's already been filmed. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. And movies like this only come once in a generation. So enjoy. A baby raptor? I made a promise we would bring her home. 
You made a promise to a dinosaur. Yeah. What? Thank you very much, Chris. I really enjoyed this movie. Everything that you said, I experienced that. So thank you very much. Oh, for great. Your Thanks, Greta. Thank you so much. See? Not so bad. <laughs>